In the last video, I showed you three warnings about merging columns in Power Query or getting transformed. Today, I'm going to amplify one piece of that. And that is the piece where, look over here, we wanted to close these gaps. In A17, we wanted to move the square footage through bathrooms over because there's nothing in flooring. In B6, Take the two bedroom, move it all the way over. The things I want to whoop on you today are one, why my hack worked, and two, a solution that came to me from Owen Auger. He's all the way down in New Zealand. And I was on the Mr. Excel forum and he was very generous in helping me out. I've met him before, he's a real good guy. I'll tell you though, these guys that know this M code, they're kind of spooky. Ken Pools, Miguel Escobar, Bill Sizzes, great, wonderful people. Think the world of them. But when they, you get into that coding world, that's like spooky land. All right, let's go into Power Query. Now, here is the source data and a straight merging of the columns. We wind up here. The delimiter is the comma, and notice that even where there were nulls or empty cells, Power Query still gave us a comma. One thing we could try to do is replace commas, like go in and replace the three commas with nothing, replace two commas with nothing, but that creates problems because you don't want to end up in a situation where you can't get your details apart. So look here. If I delete two commas, that wood and three bedroom are going to wind up right next to each other. If we go in and delete one comma, everything winds up smacked up against everything else. Here's my hack version. Start with the source. My first move was to replace the nulls with the caret symbol. Then I did the merge, and then I removed caret comma, like this here, and then comma caret, which would be like here, and then caret. If I remove caret comma or comma caret, I don't have to worry about removing a single comma that I need. I might be over explaining this, but I really want you to get it. It was hard for me to get. I had merged a bunch of columns together, 15 columns. And I thought, what if I go through and start to delete the number of consecutive commas that I need to get rid of? But here's the problem. If I've got 13 consecutive delimiters, I need to delete 12 so that I have the one that I need. But then there are some other columns that have 12 where I need to really delete 11. It got crazy. And you can't fix some and then set some aside and go back and fix the other ones. No. It was much easier to replace those nulls with something because then there's really only three moves. That placeholder with the delimiter, the delimiter and then placeholder, and then that placeholder. Just three moves. Now let's look at the solution from Owen Auger. Notice just one step. To implement this solution, we're going to look in the advanced editor. So we're staying here where I merged the columns. That's going to give us a head start. Open the advanced editor. Here is the merged column step. The first piece of this formula says what to merge. This last piece says how it should be merged is showing the delimiter, the comma there in double quotes, 
and it's showing that the column title should be titled merge. And here's what we have to do. We have to go into here and put each and slide over. We're going in here to give further instructions about how to merge this. Open parentheses list dot remove nulls. Open parentheses underscore close parentheses close parentheses. Select done and it was that simple. We go from source to merged columns and we don't have too many delimiters hanging out. Thanks a lot and I will be back with you in another video with another tip on how to keep this world's data clean.